Hey guys, Jaws Shark Reviews here, and so then we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Armada Starscream. So, here he is in his alt mode, and yeah, so um, finally we are getting Armada in Legacy, or the real fight to celebrate is that we're actually getting brand new versions of the Armada characters, so, yeah, this is, um, pretty exciting, <laughs> but, um, yeah, because, uh, while we have gone, uh, in Legacy, well, in the Velocitron collection thing, there was Override, which I do have, and do have a review of her on my channel, you can go check that, but anyways, um, so, but that was from Cybertron stuff, and, you know, which, Honestly, that was really cool, too, because I don't think... It's been a very long time since we've gotten, like, a Cybertron and something outside of, like, the Cybertron line. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we really did, because... Because um, Thrilling 30, back between 2013 and 2014, honestly, you know, the celebrated 30 years of the Transformers franchise, had, like, you know, various different versions of characters. So, like, G1, IDW, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, and, of course, the Unicron Trilogy... And, but it was mainly just Armada, like, they, they did, uh, they obviously did Starscream, and, uh, I forgot, I forgot who else they did, but, they do very many, but yeah, they, I think they mainly just did Starscream, maybe a couple others, but, yeah, there wasn't that many, but, now, of course, um, flash forward to 2022, and now it seems like we're actually gonna get a lot of these, like, mainline, uh, Armada figures, and your control is a whole, Mainly Ar Armand and Cybertron, the only two good shows of the trilogy, because there aren't any listings so far for any Aerojon stuff, because um, this year, next year, we got Armand and Cybertron stuff going on, but no, nothing Aerojon, and especially next year, we're going to get a lot more uh, Armada stuff, so this is kind of a sneak preview for the Legacy Evolution stuff in 2023, because obviously we're going to be getting Hotshot, and the artwork for Legacy Evolution showed Armada Optimus Prime, but, yeah, but anyways, yeah, here's Starscream right here, I am, again, so glad that we're finally getting proper Armada figures in the main line, especially since this year is the show's 20th anniversary, so, yeah, so glad, so glad to finally have all that, but first, uh, we'll just take a look at the packaging right here, so, as you can see, uh, yeah, very, very nice artwork again, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these little uh, artwork stuff here for the legacy stuff, and even in the trilogies before, mainly mainly the War for Cybertron trilogy and the legacy have had great artwork and stuff on them. Like, whoever the artist is, they, they really should be paid a lot more than they're being paid now. But yeah, I, I, that, that makes me curious. How, how much are these artists being paid? Hopefully, hopefully a good amount, because I mean, they have to really labor themselves with all these lines coming out of these figures with great art, because... Let me tell you, art is not easy, so, yeah. Anyways, on the front here, we got Armada for Starscream. We got a uh, nice artwork of his alt mode. He's a Voyager class, like I stated before. On the side, this is probably getting, this, you know, believe it or not, this is probably, I think, the best artwork that Legacy has had so far, because, oh, man, look at Starscream right here. You can really see the anger in him. Like, it, it really does pop out, and then on the side here, you got this very nice look at him with his weapons. Very, very nice. It's probably the best because it really like sparks out his emotion there. And aside, you got the same Decepticon artwork there that's also used on the Predacons. Well, at least I know it's Ranchulus and Inferno. Use it. Um, and of course, in the back, obligatory product shots. And he's 18 steps. And of course, QR code. You can scan that. And, uh, on top of this Legacy. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. So, yeah, anyways, let's get right back into the figure itself. And, man, we're, we are going to have a blast of a time with this with this guy. Because this this guy is fantastic. Definitely, um, definitely one of my favorite figures in Legacy. I'm not sure if it's my favorite. I would say this, it, like, if they didn't make Jaxus, this would probably be my favorite. But, like... Again, Jaxus was such a very nicely done figure with all the articulation stuff and the details and paint uh, that, you know, that figure is easily the best Voyager of year, Legacy Year One, as they're calling it. 
Um, because I'll say this will continue for years to come. I mean, there's already listings for 2024 legacy stuff. Yeah, can you believe that? It's not even 2023, but we're getting 2024 listings. But um, anyways, let's get right back into the figure. So yeah, uh, here he is in his alt mode. Fantastic. Uh, really digging the color scheme. Always, always love the amount of Starscream's design. Probably definitely one of my favorite Starscream designs. He could be even my favorite design. I don't know. There's there's a lot of good Starscream designs. But anyways. So you got a very nicely done metallic blue for the cockpit window and some nice red paint throughout. And of course his visible head syndrome, but that is accurate to the show. Um, and yeah, very, very nice and clean. Lots of cool, nice details. And the bottom here, fairly clean, uh, except for maybe the arms there, but they still fit in pretty nicely. You got some very nice gold, 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 not plaint, paint there, even in the inside right there. So that's cool. The only issue I have is that this, like, it tabs in, it, like, stays in, but then, like, if you move around, then it just kind of pops out a little easily. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. But that's, re that's really my only complaint. I mean, again, that could just be my copy. Hopefully it is just my copy, as I always say. But, hey, who knows. But, um, yeah, very, very cool. So, anyways, uh, yeah, so for features, um, this is kind of more for robot mode, but you can have his little cannons here on the sides, kind of go forward, and there you go, so you can, uh, laser down anyone, so that's pretty cool, but again, it's more for robot mode, because I'm not sure if on the show if he did, I forgot on the show if he used these, the cannons in the alt mode, either way, you can do what you want, because it's, it's available, it can happen. Um, and of course he does come with two accessories, uh, starting off with his, uh, I think this is the, it's, I think it's just the Star Saber, yeah, the Star, on the show there was the Star Saber and the Dark Star Saber, I believe, don't quote me on this, but this is the regular Star Saber, um, because he did have that on the show, I think, again, it's been a long time since I watched Armada, and, yeah, so I don't know too much, but I'm pretty sure this does look like, this, like, it would be a Star Saber, so... Because I do know, again, there was a Star Saber and a Dark Star Saber. Or, or am I thinking of Prime? I don't know. Because <laughs> Prime has a similar design for this. Which, hey, they, that could be cool if they make a Legacy Prime Universe Optimus. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, so for storage, you could put that on the sides of the forearms. You can also put it on the wings. You could put it here on the bottom. And you could also put this right here on the little... Uh, Campy section, front section here, nose cone. Yeah, like right below the nose cone, sort of. And there you go. So you have uh, him going in the air and stabbing someone. That's actually pretty cool. And he also comes with this uh, his little wing sword from the show. Um, always kind of thought it was weird, but <laughs> it um, exists. Unfortunately, no red paint. Uh, it wouldn't have been nice if there was some red paint on there, but oh well. But anyways, yeah, you can store in the same spots. But it is kind of weird considering that, again, the show, it was part of his wings. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for the accessories. So, yeah, but anyways, now for the size comparisons. Um, don't have many, but uh, here he is with the Legacy Override. That's kind of all I got. So, yeah, now we've got two. Well, no, actually, no, three. Si uh Unicron Trilogy characters and Legacy, because we got these two, and then there's, of course, Metroplex from Cybertron. So, yeah, there, there's those two. It's kind of random. Um, Starscream, of course, was in Cybertron and Aerojon, too, but Cybertron, but this is, again, his Armada design. But, hey, there's those two, just because. And also just because here he is with the Earthrise Starscream, so you can see. And, oh, man, this guy's, this guy's jet is so much bigger than this guy's, because, oh man, you can definitely see a size difference, but, um, yeah, I gotta say, to be honest, I, I've, like, for a long time, I always liked this design for the Alma the Best, but honestly, I, I think this might be my favorite jet design for Starscream now, I mean, to be honest, I think this, Armada Starscream is probably my favorite Starscream design, yeah, I, yeah, because, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's super cool, it's, because, like, he's got the bow, bow cannons and stuff, like, I've, I've always debated what, what's my favorite Starscream design, like, is it the Cybertron one? Because I actually do like that one as well. I like, I like especially when he becomes King Starscream. He, like, how massive he gets. Um, it's a good design. I, I always like the, G, of course, the G1 design. The 
uh, War for Cybertron, Fall Cybertron game design, and the the Bumblebee movie one looks pretty good, but I'd say this is probably my favorite Starscream design, because it's just really cool. I mean, of course, there's no blue on this, well, except for the <laughs> little uh, cockpit window, but, um, and it's funny, because blue is my favorite color, but honestly, he his really looks good with the red and gray, and even with the gold, and of course, you got the blue here for the cockpit, but yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's it for the comparisons, so let's get right down to the transformation, and oh man, is once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple and pretty fun. So starting off, what you're going to do here is you're just going to lower down the arms, and then flip them forward, and then flip out uh, the uh, this little panel here, just lower it down, and then flip out the hand, close this up. And just do the same thing right here, flip that out, close up the panel, and there you go, just straighten that out. And then next you just kind of want to squirm that, kind of push that inwards, because uh, it, it like kind of moves in and out, outwards, so that way the uh, there's like a tab yeah, right here that goes into there, like when you turn it into the alt mode. But yeah, so you just want to push that in as well, and there you go, so now it's a... Uh, more normal because otherwise if you don't do that then yeah it's like that <laughs> so just to make it clear so yeah but anyways then next what we're going to do is you're just going to um untab this although it should probably already be untapped considering how loose it is again hopefully it's just on my copy hopefully it's not for anyone else and then uh so you're going to untab or uh, flip out these red panels and then bring out the legs like so, and then just fold them out, rotate there at the thigh, flip out the foot, and then you're also going to want to flip out the heel spur. Come on. Come on, it's not that hard. Come on, get out. Now, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, the next you're just going to do the same thing over here. And rotate that around. Flip out the foot. Oh, you're also going to like, close up the, uh, the red panel here. And yeah, that'll just kind of squeeze in. And there you go. And then, oh, so flip out the heel spur. There you go. So that way he should stand with no problem. If he does stand with the problem, even with the heel spurs, then your copy is bad. <laughs> so, yeah, but anyways, now we have to raise up the camera. And there we go. Now, next, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of move this all kind of forwards. And uh, in the process, it should also lift the head up. There you go. <laughs> so now it's got his head. I uh, just so want to make sure this doesn't topple over or something because it looked like it was about to. But, anyways, um, then next, you're just going to want to fold down the whole, this whole front section and then it'll go down. There's a, by the way, there's a tab right here and then there's a slot right there. And this will fold them down, then you squeeze that together, and then next, these little uh, side fin pieces will just kind of gently attach, or not attach, they just kind of fold onto the chest, so there you go. And then finally, oh wait, actually no, not finally yet, uh, first, you just bring down this red piece, and I'll squeeze that in. And then finally, you just want to flip up the wings, and once you got that... There you guys have Armada Starscream. Oh, why is Armada Wobble? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, there you guys have Armada Starscream in his robot mode. And, yeah, I gotta say, this looks fantastic. Like, yeah, if, if, if you're, basically, if you're a fan of Armada, or just even, like, a casual fan of it, not even, like, a diehard fan of Transformers Armada, like, this is a must-have, because it is incredible. Definitely, uh... Blows the Throwing 30 and the even the original out of the water. But, I mean, of course they'll throw the original out of the water. That one's from, like, 20 years ago. Um, but even the Throwing 30, like, I, I don't have the... Well, actually, I do... Uh, earlier earlier this year, I got the, like, the blue Starscream or Thundercracker. <laughs> just, just joking, it is Starscream, but in, like, thundercracker S colors. I do have the mold, and, yeah, it's, it's a fine mold for being a 20-year-old mold, but it's, like... You know, but this definitely blows out more, but I don't have the Thrilling 30, but it's it's basically obsolete now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so here's Starscream in his robot mode, and yeah, again, fantastic. So, 
Anyways, um, for let's take a look at the details. You got a head sculpt. Very, very Armada Starscream like. He's kind of got that kind of fearsome, but also kind of worried face in him. Like, Armada Starscream is probably also, like, got to be my favorite because, again, I like how he. He didn't really focus on trying to overthrow, like overthrowing Megatron and stuff, and he had a human bond with the humans, especially with Alexis. I thought that was pretty nice, but it was unfortunate that they kind of ditched that later on. But oh well. <laughs> but yeah, you got nice yellow paint for the eyes, and yeah, this just really screams like cartoon accuracy. Because man, this looks very nice. I really like how that this was done, like that metallic blue. But yeah. And out of the back, not much else here, but this this is proportionate. This is <laughs> this is on spot. But yeah. But anyways, oh, uh, now for the articulation, you have his on a bull joint, so he can move. His head can move side to side just a little bit. Uh, his head can move up, so that's good for like flight scenes, like if you're on doing a stop motion. And his head can move down that far, so hey, at least he can move down. <laughs> The shoulders do move uh, out that far, and do rotate a full 180 degrees, and the biceps do rotate, or swivel, um, a double bend at the elbow, and he does not have wrist swivel, but um, the hands can move up and down, thanks to transformation, but unfortunately I'll kind of undo that, so you just want to make sure that's all clicked into place when you're done. Uh, waist does rotate. And then the legs can kick up this far, back that far, and out that far. Wow, very far. Um, oh, and there's a little another little problem I figured. The uh, mushroom peg doesn't stand that well for on the thigh here. So yeah, that's it for the thigh. And again, yeah, speaking of which, uh, thigh swivel, uh, a bend at the knee, a little over 90 degrees. And the ankles do pivot, and feet do move back and forth. So yeah, very, very good our articulation on this guy. So yeah, now, um, anyways, so let's get right down back into the accessories. So again, it comes with this Star Saber thing again. I'm not sure if that's what it is. Comment down below if I got it wrong. Don't get angry at me. Don't say, oh, Jaws, it's not the thing. No, no, just... just Take it to say, okay, that, that's not the Star Saber, that's something else. Because, again, I haven't watched the show in a long time. <laughs> I watch it, I will admit, I watched it a little bit when they had that Transformers TV thing. Or they, I, no, they still, I know they still do have that, but months back, um, I, I, I did watch them a little bit. But, again, they I don't think they had the episodes where he had this. And it seems to me that's the Star Saber, because, I mean, it looks like it. It just looks like it. And, then, of course, he does come with his wing blade in here. Not to be confused with Wind Blade, <laughs> that character, the character that the Fanvo character that Hasbro hyped up, and of course introduced, and then only lasted five years, and yet she still doesn't appear. But yeah, I just noticed. Yeah, Wind Blade hasn't appeared in anything for a while. Like, like between, like after the Cyberverse finale, I've not seen Wind Blade anywhere. Not in Earth Spark, not in Rise of the Beast. Um, by the way, great trailer. Um, and yeah, just. Yeah, it's, oh man, yeah, I haven't seen Windblade in a while. What, what, what happened to Windblade? I mean, I don't really care, but it's, it's just, this is a lot. We, we haven't seen much of her since the Cyberverse finale, but, but anyways, so yeah, there's the accessories, and yeah, they do look fantastic again. Yeah, I think it might be the Star Saber, because Starscream is kind of, that's kind of like one of his things. Like, it wasn't his main weapon, his main weapon was that wing blade, and of course, the, oh, I almost forgot to speak in which, um, um, the can things, but yeah, is the wing, the wing blade, and the two cans on the side switch. Speaking of which, let's get right into that right here. So, uh, you can flip these out, and there it goes. Now you can laser gun down uh, some Autobots or even Decepticons if he wishes to, and there he goes. So you go, you can laser him down. That looks really, really cool. It kind of looks like cameras, not gonna lie, but um. Yeah, and if you so desire, if you don't want these sticking out of the back, you can flip these down. Just kind of attach. Just hopefully, you don't break this. Cause or no, you have to do it like this. There you go. Yeah, you just you just have to untab this red piece and then flip that down. So there you go. So they're just kind of sitting in the back. But you know me, I like having these out here. So 
Yeah, I think you could do that with the yeah you could do that with the original toy just have it like not even there, but you know it completes the look. It it just does. I I really really dig it. So yeah, but anyways, now for the robot mode comparisons for this guy. Uh, hold on a second. I just gotta make sure it's all focused and nice. All right. So anyways, yeah. Now for the robot mode comparisons. Here he is with. Like a C override. And yeah, um and of course, yeah, they're both Voyagers. I completely forgot how override has a Voyager, but you know, she's a little bit short because at first it's like, whoa, wait a minute, that's a huge deluxe, but it's like, alright, override's a Voyager. Well, that's good for gang. So yeah. Um And lastly, here he is with the Earthrise Star Scream. And yeah, I really like this one more because I like how it's more like, hmm, it's, it's cooler, I guess you could say, because this one's boxy and stuff, you know, but that was G1, and I still love the G1 design, but the, this, though, this, though, is, mm, that's some good stuff, and all this, like, this guy turned a huge jet, and this one, just, it was, like, this guy's jet, I mean, it wasn't small, but it was much smaller, and now they're, like, about the same height, <laughs> and this guy's only, like, a little bit taller, so that's kind of funny, but... Yeah, there you guys have the robot mode comparisons. Uh, sorry if I didn't have much, but <laughs> that's all I got, basically, you know. So, yeah. And there you guys have my review of the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Armada Starscream. And yeah, I gotta say, this is actually, you know, probably one of my favorite Voyagers that Legacy has done so far. Like, again, my favorite would probably still have to be G-Axis, because, you know, the articulation was great, you know. Um, and you can even pose the fingers, and, and it's funny, because, like, I don't really know GX as his character, but the figure in Legacy is, like, very good, so, you know, it goes to show, even, like, the characters I know, like, can still surprise me, um, and the transformation, like this figure, was also pretty fun and nice and simple, like, if you got used to, of course, but, and, you know, the paint details are good, like, I'd say, though, that the articulation alone defeats this guy, but if it weren't for that, I'd say this would probably be my favorite, because, like, because first of all, transformation, nice and clean, again, once you get used to it, then it's, like, you know, pretty fun, um, articulation's still pretty good, um, and, of course, paint details are fantastic, and, yeah, I, like, again, this legacy line, like, despite all the hate that, you know, some people give it, it doesn't really deserve it, because, I mean, they've, they've given us, like, a lot of good figures, I mean, okay, I can see why the first wave is a little divisive, but, you know, because the main, the, everyone was focusing on those Prime Universe figures as the target of hate, um, but, of course, in this wave, this is wave three, uh, there isn't really any of these, you know, Prime figures, so, yeah. So, yeah, overall, very, very good figure, um, definitely highly recommend, at least if you're a Armada fan, but even, even if you're not, and you're looking for a pretty good, basically a pretty good Transformer, but also a pretty good Starscream figure, I'd say definitely pick this one up. You know, it's it's only Voyager, like thirty bucks, worth worth it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what do you guys think of this figure. So, anyways, guys, as always, to all, R one.